Hello, uh, this video has been brought to you by me and Cubic Fun. Uh, they very kindly provided me with the kit to build and have also provided you with some discount codes for some different kits that they do. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. I go along to that, there's six different kits that they provided some codes for, so decide which one you want to build, follow along and get it cheap. Let me know in the comments if you're getting any and how you feel about finding the build, but uh, yeah, watch the build and then decide if you want to see if you want to build one for yourself. Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is something a little bit different. Uh, I was contacted by Cubic Fun, uh, the company that make and produce uh, this Mississippi steamboat and other similar sort of kits, uh, to see if we could go into some sort of collaboration um, to publicise their range. Uh, and of course, I said yes. And here we are. Uh, they've sent me this, uh, and I'm going to build it, and we'll see exactly what it is, and go from there. Uh, the kit itself is a 1100 scale um, replica in uh, sort of paper and foam board uh, of the Mississippi Steamboat. Uh, there's 142 pieces in it. Uh, it says down the bottom there, it's easy to assemble. Uh, there are no scissors required, no gluing, and less than four hours to construct. Now, obviously, this being a build video, it might take me longer than that, but the video is going to be less than that in length. Uh, on the back, it shows you the easy assembly steps. Uh, basically, you get these sprues, similar to the wooden kits that I've been building, and you just pop it together. Uh, it's as easy as it goes. Uh, in the series, they also have uh, Queen Anne's Revenge, HMS Victory, and the USS Constitution. Uh, so, let's have a look inside and see what we get. In the box we have a nice uh, brochure which gives you some artwork, uh, some information in English and Chinese, I assume. Uh, lots of pictures and obviously that's the finished kit. It's about steamboats. Uh, and then the building instructions. Now they seem to be fairly easy to understand, numbered parts. You have to fold and bend and put them together. So that's what we have there, uh, all the way through to the end. Uh, what else is there in the box? Let's have a look. We've got four tubes, which are the uh, steam towers by the looks of it. So I don't think I need them till the end. So we'll worry about that then. We have Let's get rid of the box, it's the easiest way. Alright, we have a single card, a hole puncher, which is quite nice. Uh, you obviously pop that out of there, like that. And being, I don't know if it's boat shaped or if it's just me reading it as being boat shaped, uh, but you can use that to push out the tabs and things, so if you're having to damage your nails or use any other tools. So that's quite cool. Um, it's got their website down there, which is www.cubicfun.com. Uh, and they're also on Facebook, their facebook.com slash cubicfun. Uh, right. Uh, also, we have, obviously, the sprues. I'll get the plastic off of those, and we'll have a closer look at them in a moment. Uh, there's a book, another packet in here, which has stuff in it. What does this have? This is how to build 3D puzzles. All right, we have an introductory try me 15% off code, uh, CF puzzle. Uh, when you order from Amazon, uh, it's $30, over $30. So it might be only Amazon US, although it does list Amazon UK down there. Uh, if you go to amazon.com or amazon.co.uk slash cubic fun, that will give you their range that they're selling. Um, and I say, if you use that code, you'll probably get a discount. Uh, right, this is a small tester piece. So I'll use this to demonstrate exactly how it all goes together. And then, as with most of my videos, I'll show you a bit of the other in, in build and skip ahead and then show you some other bits. So this is obviously a simple uh, two, three step London bus. Um, so basically the parts pop out and you build it. So uh, let's pop out, yeah, one. Start with number one. It's always easy to start with number one. Now this is a sort of a, a foam core with card either side, just not strong, but strong enough. 
Uh, so on here, this is where this bit comes in useful because so you can use that. These tabs obviously need poking out, so you can poke them out with that. It's nice that they thought of things like that. So we have that. Uh, what I'll do, I'll put all of the bits out. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to tell what bits are which because they're all different. Uh, it's coloured and printed on both sides. Uh, obviously, better designed for. Um, flat and square things rather than curves because you can't curve it uh, so what I'm going to do is first of all go through and pop out all the bits that you don't need using the little poppy out thing there we go that one there get rid of them I shall dispose of all of those parts responsibly uh, we've got windows and other parts that need to pop out all the popping as well as a little tab there yep those windows uh a little tab in the front uh is that it is that that just bends down by the looks of it so they come off there to shape that snap 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 Pop out the two bits down the bottom. You can probably figure out how this is going to go together without the instructions, but I'm obviously going to follow the instructions because I don't want to get it wrong on camera live. Put those two out with this. There we go. All of the windows. There we go. Proper London bus. Obviously, these aren't uh, designed as a an exact replica model kit there and say so no windows in it and things like that so oh it says pop all the bits out assemble the thing on the thing so we've got that that way round we've got the little door goes onto there uh, and that goes into there as well so pop that on there first and then we can put that in there and that goes through there as well right uh, that one goes on the front that way up like that and then the other part just wraps around all of it by the looks of it so let's see how that works it just so it says fold them down and pop in all the tabs so we get everything folded down fold there fold there and there and that bit there right so that's obviously the back of the bus so we can get those two tabs in there, like that. Uh, that that's not. I've got the front of the bus at the back of the bus, and the back of the bus at the front of the bus. <coughs> that's actually that way round. Yeah, that's the driver. I was thinking it was a, the entrance window, but it wasn't. Because obviously that will only fit on there that way up. Then that will go through there. that goes in there and that goes through the little tab in the bottom of there so try and get that through there while you're doing this bit through there and that bit on the front and the wing mirrors pop through there and there we have it um no time at all to build a fun little kit there's no weight to it obviously it's being mainly paper and card uh, it's going to Tower Hill by the number 15. It's got their advertising on the bottom there. So there we have a London bus completed in next to no time at all. So yes, hopefully the main steamboat will be as easy. It's going to be more complicated because it's more parts, but the same sort of thing. Uh, it looks like they give you a random one of these in each kit or possibly through other means. Um, there's a space shuttle, there's the Statue of Liberty, there's the London bus, and a Dutch windmill as well. So the more you order, the more chance you have of collecting the set. Uh, so, I'll keep hold of that for the real build. I shall dispose of all the other parts in the recycling. And the bus will sit out of the way. So, I'll get the rest of it out of the paper, out of the plastic rather, and see what we're doing, and carry on with the build proper. 
Right, the steamboat itself uh, comes on several uh, sprues. Ah, there's some stickers as well. Okay, I'll find out what they're for in a moment. Uh, these are all double sized. So obviously the size of the boat itself is gonna be at least that big. So it's got a fold in some of the parts. Uh, that might be what the stickers are for, maybe to cover over. I don't know, I'm guessing. We won't guess. I'll just get on and build it. Uh, so we've got so bits that I can't tell what anything is. It's obviously some sort of decking. Um, and on the other side, it's coloured as well and printed. So we've got several layers of deck by the looks of it. Parts around the outside. Mask, maybe? I don't know. I've, I said I'd give up guessing, then I just carried on guessing. I'll, I'll stop now. Um, yeah. So, looks like interesting parts. They're all quite clearly numbered. Now, the numbers obviously aren't on the part itself. They're just next to it on the thing. So, you have to be careful to uh, get the right parts. Now, this is obviously not got a join down the middle there. So, that will probably separate yeah it's just got a couple of joins in there so that that will separate off of there so you don't have to deal with the huge card but if you can you might as well because you're gonna have to on some of the others anyway uh, so let's have a look at the actual instructions themselves the first part of the actual build instructions says to not start there i've turned over multiple pages let's go back there we go, right. Uh, right, it looks like each part is done as a letter, each stage. So they keep the numbers well away from the letters, which is an interesting and easy, clear way of doing it. Uh, let me just check, that's page six with seven with writing on it, eight with starting the build. Uh, so it looks like we're starting with parts uh, 81, 282s and 283s. Uh, so let's have a look and see what we can find. Uh, just going to go through you can see sort of what they vaguely look like but you can't always tell on here so i'm just going to scan through the numbers now obviously if i had a larger work area you could have all these laid out properly to see exactly what you're doing but i haven't so i don't and also i'm probably not going to be able to find the bits that i need on the first time through so there we go That'll always be fun. 85, was that? 82, 81, 82, 83. Obviously it doesn't start with one because that wouldn't be any fun at all. Uh, so I found some parts that are nearly there. I don't know what size they are. So there we go, oh, there's 81, 82, 83, 82, 83. So let's start with those. They should pop out just as they did with the other um, small build. Now the problem with these is going to be knowing which ones are which afterwards. Uh, they look like they're the same, but they might not be. So I'm going to move the parts out of the way. I'll move the stickers out of the way as well until I'm told to use those. Uh, obviously that one I know what it looks like. The other ones down here are a little bit different. Uh, what I'll do is I shall put the instructions in a, a little picture in the corner so you can see them. And I'll try and keep the parts in a vague sort of order. Uh, so I've got 82 here. That's 82. That's the other 82. Let's get that out of there. Uh, there do seem to be differences. Now I look at them more closely. These have got tabs on them and these ones don't. So it's probably easy to tell from the picture what you're doing if you do have the parts out can't find where they go or anything like that so we've got that let's have a look uh, we obviously need to remove the little tabs from there as well first oh they do have the part numbers on the back as well oh, it's even easier that was a bit of forethought from them so obviously when you're assembling it any parts with numbers on it I'm sure the numbers will be hidden on the inside so you don't need to worry about those but it makes it easier once you've got them off to know what it is you're dealing with so right here we have 82 82 and 83 83 
and 81. Now 81 is just folded up like that, uh, that way up. It goes into 82 first, and then goes into 83. So if we can put that through there, I'll put the 83 on so the numbers are inside and invisible. That looks like that. And we do the same this way, obviously starting with 82. Uh, the way they've put the number, you could put that on either even that way around and it would still be invisible inside there. So that's that part. Um, the next part of A, by the looks of it, is still going to be 84, 80 and 26. Let's see if they're in the same sort of area. That looks like 80. That's the big bit. There we go. Uh, 84, only two of those, which are these pieces here. Pop that out. There you go. That's that one. Almost finished with that page. Uh, I still need number 26. I'm not sure about the, the colours of these, if they denote different uh, sprues, possibly. I don't know, they were grey on the first bit and then orange, but I don't know. Uh, so I'm looking for 26. So it's not on there. And they do seem to be numbers mostly 60, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this, the numbers do seem to continue on each sprue. I call it a sprue, it's not really, but you know, it sort of is. Uh, so that's 49, 1. No, maybe they don't. <laughs> <laughs> so looking for 26 still. Uh, I know what sort of shape it is, like a triangular sort of thing, but it's not one of those. Another one. Uh, 9, 10, 10, 11, 12, 2, 2, 5, 7, no. It's going to be the last one, or obviously it's going to be the last one, because when I get to it I'm going to stop looking, but you know what I mean. Oh, there's 27, means I might be close, or I might not be. 38, 35, no, nope, not close. Close, but not close enough. Uh, 25, 23, that's what I was looking for. Nope, 26 is what I'm looking for. That might mean I've not seen it because I was looking for, might have had the wrong number in my brain. Let's go through, I've got one more to look at. And uh, it's 26, oh, I'm looking for, not 23, 26. 28, 20, 47. No, I think I've overlooked it because I was thinking 23 and probably didn't see 26. I'll find it, come back and build it in one. Okay, I know why I missed it now. It's because it's not really a part. It's a part, but it's not really a part. It's the nameplate. So I think I sort of overlooked that as being just a label on the, on the board rather than an actual part to be built. So... There we have those two, that and that. So I still need to pop out the bits from here. I'll do that over the back so I can collect them and get rid of them properly. There we go. And they're still mostly attached to the back so you can get rid of them. Probably do it over a bin or something rather than just emptying them onto the bench, but it's easier for me to get rid of them from the bench afterwards. So there we go. So getting these the right way round is the next trick. Uh, it conveniently shows you uh, that they're the same either way up, so it doesn't actually matter. So again, it's just a case of making sure the numbers are hidden. So we pop those in there with the numbers on the inside. Like that. Uh, this is that way round, actually, because the nameplate folds back and pops onto the front. Just like that. Let's get those through a little bit more securely. And then this goes that way up. We've got the three lines, the three blobs to fit into it. So quite substantial uh, base piece there. Obviously this isn't the, the boat, this is just what it a stand for it. So there we have the stand for the boat which is quite nice, it's quite substantial. I, I wasn't thinking it was going to be quite that sturdy. But uh, that's that, which the boat, or the ship, I think it's a ship. Is it a boat? It's a lifeboat 
because boats go on ships, but ships can't go on boats. I think is the correct way around. But anyway, so the Mississippi Steamboat from the 19th century stand, good to go. Uh, right, I'll get the parts together for the next part of the build. I'll get them off and ready to go, and then I'll film some building of it, and we'll progress onwards. Okay, one thing to mention, um, I thought, aha, I've outwitted them. The tool they gave us for pushing the bits out doesn't work on the tiny bits because it's too big to fit. And then I noticed that it's got a smaller spike on the top there, which works just lovely for those. So yeah, they, they really did think of everything, even idiots like me. So uh, yeah, there's that. Right, so we have all of the parts for the next part, the next stage of the build. Uh, the one thing it doesn't show me is which way up that goes. Now, knowing nothing about boats, I'm assuming that the number is going to be on the underside uh, because these walls that are going to go around there are again the same colour as that one. So I'm assuming that that's going to be that way. Uh, but we'll see. These obviously were printed across two pages, which is why it's got that fold down there. Now, there is going to be a fold on these. They're actually at the ends, and you can see they're actually... Uh, hopefully you can see there's a, a groove there sort of imprinted into it so it makes it want to fold there oh, it is actually a cut so it folds there and the same the other side uh, so this is part 32 which goes if I get that the same way around as it is in the picture it goes over that side now there's you can obviously see on the instructions exactly where it goes or you can just line it up because it's going to be the only one that fits in that sort of place so that, 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 and that. Now, the one downside to this is push, pushing through, they do actually go through further than the thickness of the card. So you can't just push through onto a table. You do need to actually lift it up and push them in while supporting it around it. So that's just something to keep, keep note of. Uh, right, part 20 goes there. Uh, now that, again, would go either way around, but obviously this is the bit you're going to be able to see. The interior you're not going to be able to see, so we'll put that in that way around. And the same with the other one, the other side. Like that. Uh, the other wall will fold around, so that does all line up. So I personally find it easier to put them in to get them located, but as I say, it doesn't go all the way down until you create a little bit of room underneath. So that's that, and then on the last part of this step, we have some barrels, uh, which go in various different places. We've got two there. These obviously are just creating a little bit of uh, detail, a little bit of attention. And there's four at the front there. Uh, if I turn that round a bit, maybe, there you go. Uh, now again, these are obviously printed both sides, so there's no way round to do them. You've just got to get them in. And then they stay there. Now, obviously, if, in theory, they could have made these round and you know more realistic, but in practice, they work fine, especially when you're viewing it through the side, obviously, side on. They're gonna look okay. So no problem with that. Uh, there we go. That's that. So far, so good. That was section B. Uh, C is a little bit more complicated. There's the whole wheel assembly to make. So I'll put this to one side. I'll put it on the stand, because obviously there's gonna be a hull underneath it by the looks of it but that will go on there for now i'll move that out of the way i'll get the parts out for the next set, stage and then build it together so these are the next parts for the uh, wheel arrangement uh, we've got that which has two of these or one either side of something let's try and figure out how that goes together that goes through there like that and then there's that, and then on the other side of that, there's that. I've got that the wrong way up, haven't I? Yes. I thought that didn't look quite right. That goes that way up. That goes in there, and that goes on the end. Yeah, that all holds together. That seems to be a plan. Yep, looks like that's that. Uh, so that then has 
the wheels on it two three and four uh, what's the easiest way of doing this it says then to put the two of these on so let's do that shall we did I get all those on the same way round? I did that was good. that was lucky <laughs> I could have got those the wrong way around in which case the notches wouldn't join up so let's see if we can't do this as well so that's got to go on there then the next one has to join up in there as well then the next one this is where I've turned one round without realizing no still on there like that and that one that way round over there and that locates in there now because these are quite a, th a thin foam board they're not very sturdy but they're sturdy enough so once you've got that one on that side you've got to do the same the other side and that will make it much more sturdy sturdier yeah sturdier that's a word uh, and then obviously I've got all of these to put on in the other places around the wheel as well once it's more assembled so that goes on there like that oh, and I've just dropped that bit out so let's take that off of there right I reckon that this is actually two of those in there to make that a tighter fit so I've got the two of those and then that over the end there so let's get that on there uh, get it on the same way round as it is on the pictures with that that side I don't think anyone will notice if I got that completely the wrong way up but let's get it right anyway uh, then I've got the two of these it doesn't make that terribly clear that there's two of them but it sort of shows one in place and one not in place so we'll put those in there like that and then that can go over there onto those and then that can go over there as well just making sure it stays in place I assume so there we have that then it says to put these all in place so let's it still turns so that's quite convenient quite easy way of doing that just getting those assembled on there one at a time and then push down until that's flat I won't bore you with all of these I'll get them done and then I'll show you assembling it onto the rest of the boat so there we have the, the paddle wheel, the main operating point of the paddle steamer there. And we have the boat itself, and that goes onto the back there. Now these are going to go through there, and they will go into the top piece here. So let's manipulate and manoeuvre to get that onto there. That will go through that corner there. Just like that. And the same on the other side. Corner, notch. Yeah, that double thickness of those is definitely the way to go. That through there. And the, the wheel does still turn. Although it's not an operating model, obviously. But that all fits together. Just like that. Right, so far so good. On with the next stage. The next step, D, involves a couple of boxes, I don't know, crates maybe, uh, and another deck. So they both go on simply like that. Actually, they may be, I'm not gonna get, I'm giving up guessing. I said I wasn't gonna guess anymore, and I'm not. They're just parts that I'm putting on, and I don't know why quite yet but I'm sure they have purpose later on. So that's that. Now we've got to build the main staircase. So we do that with two sides and six steps. Uh, the steps have to go on a particular way round with the um, bit at the front, not the back. So make sure that goes through there like that. Uh, now pretty much you've got to do one side at a time and then fit the other side on top of it. So we get all the steps the same way round. So the tread is the first piece and the back comes out behind it. So that goes on there like that. And then the other side lines up first time out. First time, no, no trouble at all. Mostly no trouble, maybe a little bit of trouble. Just getting them to line up, there we go. And then we can push that in there. 
So we have a staircase. Now the staircase is the tricky piece. Uh, that goes onto here and it shows you how it connects in. It's not exactly rocket science. The two prongs have got to go through there and this has got to locate in. Uh, so it goes that way round. No, that way round. Ah, these go the other way. Let's have a look. There you go. That's the tricky bit. These bits fold round. So they actually go back that way. So the staircase goes all the way in there. Ah, oh, these don't go into there at all. They go into there. So that's got to go all the way back into there. And then these come all the way forward into there. That's an interesting way of doing it. It holds it in securely. Looks good and works. I'm happy with that. That's fine. Uh, right, then we need the main base assembly again, uh, which I am actually going to put onto the base because otherwise I'm pushing down onto the back of the, the wheel because that obviously sticks out below. So I'm going to work on there at least until I'm told otherwise. Uh, and this will just connect up all the way along. Obviously you've got uh, the two pegs at the back, uh, several along the side. So just a case of lining up and clipping in place as you go along. I'm just going to start with the back two. There we go. And then I can work my way forwards. Obviously being a plastic card uh, sort of a foam core it bends, so you've got enough leeway to clip a couple of bits in and have the rest of it bent upwards, rather than having to do everything all at once if it was a you know a wooden kit or a metal kit. So it gives you a nice little bit of uh, play. Now, as well as getting this front bit connected in, we've got to get the bottom of the stairs connected down there as well. So just to edge those back a little bit further, that's that side, and the same on the other side, obviously being careful of your barrels, which I've knocked a barrel over, oh both barrels over, I've knocked two barrels over from that side, <laughs> maybe I'll put the barrels in later, that's their two barrels out, right so that's got to go in there, that side I knocked out of there again, that side is all connected up, so that will now connect in there like that, and then I can put the barrels back in. Trickier to do with a roof over the top of it, but I'm sure we can get there. Or not. I might need a tool. I shall use a small pair of tweezers. If you've got smaller fingers, you might be able to do it. But my fingers a little bit too big to get in there, especially that one at the back. I might be able to do the one at the front, but while I've got the tweezers here, I may as well just do that. The other two are still in there securely, so they're okay. Don't need to worry about that. So that's that, another deck done. Uh, one more thing to do with this bit is put the tops on. So I've got 40 and 39. Uh, 39 goes that side. So again, same as the level level below that goes in there have i got it the right way up no the numbers are the wrong way up that's of note to make make sure you get the doors meeting the ground not the floor not the ceiling so that one in there and all of those along the side locating down into their holes same on that one you'd expect that to be that way up but it isn't it's that way up so Pay attention when you're putting it together. Uh, that one in there, all the way along, popping them all into their own little home. And that is another layer done, even on camera. There we go. Two barrels still all right in there. Oh, it's starting to pop out a little bit, but there we go. There we go. Uh, now the next step on F involves putting other stairways onto the outside here, so I shall find those and pop them on. Now the four stairways are all the same, uh, they just need folding like that. These are obviously smaller, they're not actual stairs, they're just the impression of stairs which go on like that. 
and like that on the front and the same on the back if I can move that that way then you can still see the back so just folding that to there uh, these ones go from the middle outwards obviously going up to the next deck which I'm sure is going to be the next part of the build right uh, item piece number stage number G number G yes that's right uh, <laughs> for anyone building at home uh, we have that which is going to go on to here which I've got the wrong way around so that goes on there let's try and figure this out they go down right we need these front pieces that curve around the front so that's going to go not in there at all that's not for those they, two more barrels go in there so this is just supported by the rest of this somehow let's see uh, that folds down there that goes on there and that goes in there it doesn't really help right so these are going to go on the front here like that and that goes in amongst it somewhere back to those go down into those so the back of that goes in there the front yeah goes through the front of that and that one goes through there a bit like that so this does the same thing just go around the outside the front of that goes through the front one of those railings there we have that right we need to bend down the front of that because that goes into that hole there so if it's straight it wouldn't quite fit okay so there we have a, a deck I don't know what type of deck it is uh, so that's that that goes on to the main assembly itself uh, somehow somewhere let's have a look we've got that the right way around oh there yeah there where the lower deck comes through so we've got the two bits there to connect up to here just like that and then just like the other one following it along getting all the bits that join up to join up so there's there there's there there's there and the same on the other side that one that one and somewhere around there there's going to be another one there it is there and the two at the front like that okay it's getting big now it's, they, I didn't realise they were quite as large as this makes it uh, right we have two little sides to the stairs that go along the front there handrails that one and the one that I put on the top that I dropped there it is on the other side like that uh, then we have the two sides and two bulkhead pieces to put in uh, 58 is this side so again getting it the right way up there's a couple of curves to this this becomes like an oval shape so you've got to get those in all of the connecting points there I thought I've got the wrong ones by the looks of it uh, yes got to go back to there so it's not there at all it will be somewhere else Let's try and figure this out. Oh, I'm further forward. Right, right up next to that. So they get to go in there. And these go around the back there. Just like that. And these go inside. I thought you can't see any side of either of these. So they are purely for structural support. The other side goes in exactly the same. You can hopefully see the inside of that bit. Going in there, 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 and at the back. 
there right there so we've got another deck done up I'll just tidy up a little bit there bits that popped out there we go um and then i'll get the next parts for part i i've already started the next bit because those two are exactly the same as this one which is some more fake steps which we fold and pop into the two holes there one at the bottom and one just below the door like that and the two handrails to go one either side just like that uh, then we have the top let's put that back on there hopefully a bit like that so you can still see uh, it needs to be the correct way round which I've got my picture the same way as that so those go at the back and that goes at the front so uh, we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven ish bits to pop in there so let's start at one end get that in there those two going forward that middle door you've got to get up the right way middle wall rather and that one the same so we push that back a little bit to line that up and then they go on the front there so far so good it's quite structurally sound you can put a lot of pressure on that without it causing any problems so that should be okay and the last piece of this is number 73 which all folds down to become another deck level at the back here obviously the two holes over the two holes all the pegs into where the pegs go just like that there we go another layer it's a good size i like it it's it's quite big it's too big to even fit on all on camera i'll have to move the camera back again soon but uh that was that and then we'll move on to the next stage i've put two more of the little uh steps up to the cabins on and i've built one of those i uh, don't know what it is it goes on the the back here just like that there uh, and it's built out of these three pieces because there's another one that goes on the front they just interlock one from each side like that and this one goes on the front there we have it uh, next up um, page number K uh, we've got the front of the uh, stairway or the back of the stairway depending on which way you have it it locks in at the bottom and the top that goes on there there we go uh, and then we have some fun with railings uh, we've got four of these railings that go around each of the tops of the stairway uh, they fold around into a, a U shape and have three connecting points that go onto there All right I'll get the other three assembled on there and we'll move on to the next st next stage and the next stage is this uh, one of the most delicate and dangerous pieces that I've done it actually has been slightly damaged in getting it out I say it's been it was me I did it in popping it out from the thing I've managed to distort it slightly I'm hoping that it will all still hold together properly uh, this is obviously like the the front of the the boat the ship so uh, yes let's see it looks complicated it's got this that goes inside it to support it somewhat which has got a fold in it like that and this all folds up with one little beam down the middle so that goes there that goes there and the one that's almost fallen off very carefully goes like that now this will obviously fold up to be that sort of shape and this needs to go into the front to hold between where well, we got it two of them are ah, right so yes that will help to hold it together that goes there those two go into that there and that one goes up at that one at that angle by the looks of it and obviously the other side closes around and does exactly the same thing so let's pop that one in there like that that one on there like that and then this one 
comes around onto there like that so yes that does hold that together even if that was broken off completely it would still probably be okay because it's going to be held in a couple of other places as well so that piece is now assembled we've got this that again was on a, a fold in the middle but because we're going to be oh, getting rid of all the bits uh, folding it that way that will stop that from folding again uh, obviously you need to get this one the right way round so we've got that that way round we've got two of these numbered 11 uh, one of which goes on there like that uh, the 10 goes behind that there like that the other 11 goes on to this piece and the front sliding down those two like that and that will be at the front but obviously it doesn't hold it on its own we use these to do that so that goes in there and on there and the same on the other side so we're building up the, the hull of the ship now so yes that holds that together not quite up yet but it will be obviously there's more surrounds to go around the outside there so that was it L. Uh, let's move on to the next bit I'll get the next parts out and put them together so now we do much the same again slightly less complicated this one it's only got two sections rather than the three but goes together in exactly the same way except that doesn't have the fold to it so where does that go in there just up the back get that the same way around as it is in the instruction manual and oh, it's going on those two there there we go uh, with the long piece down the bottom so in there and there both sides coming in holding in place just like that that's the front uh, we've got another side that's held in place by two number two is exactly the same so it doesn't matter which way around they go that one goes in there that one goes over there like that and that goes together it doesn't actually hold together on this one uh, like that but it's going to go that side and it goes onto the main assembly so we've got that which is the back make sure I get it the right way around this one is the front I don't know nautical terms it's it's front and back pointy end and wheel end um, and then we have the wheel itself the wheel house itself the main body which is like that uh, one thing that needs to be fitted to it before we put the bottom one is the flagpole so we have that slides onto the front like that and then onto the bottom of this, these fit. Let's have a look. If I get that laid down there, oh, I'm going to need that bit though. Uh, right, so that's going to go into those two easily enough. Uh, this one, obviously, we've got two, 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 and two, which are going into the holes on the underside there. So just carefully lining up pushing in and that should be just about that and then the same with this one although there's a few more to connect up so it might be a little bit more complicated getting them lined up but it might not if everything's popped together just as it should then it should all sync up just about right And everything is sort of located in the right place because of how it has to be when you've got the cross beams the cross braces and things it sort of has to be in the right place so yeah I'll get the rest of that popped in for sure and then we'll start putting the, the shell around the outside of it right for one of the largest and um, most complex pieces lots of things to pop out obviously make sure you get all the, the bits popped out before you try to put it together uh, there's going to be some bending in various different places on this 
that's going to go down there. I'm going to use the edge of the bench here, which is unfortunately just out of camera shot, but there we go. That's got those slight curve to that. These are going to come in there. And the front bit uh, is going to connect up as well. Right, let's see if we can get this done and done on camera. I've got the boat the right way round. The little tab here is going to go into that hole there. That one's going to go into that one, and that one's going to go into that one, and we'll worry about the rest of it as we go along. So, we're just connecting in each one in turn. That one, that one, and then that one, and then all of the others going along. There should be just enough friction in this to hold it together. So obviously no glue required or anything like that. So here we have that. Now let's have a look at the top here. We've got that will curve around to there. These are going to locate into each of the side pieces all the way along. Uh, that's going to curve around there. Being careful not to get caught on the wheel. And they match up around there as well so yeah uh, let's get the rest of these done along the side pop 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 and that one goes around to there that one goes around to there and that one in the middle that i missed for some reason and there you have it that's joined up to the front obviously the other side to do exactly the same uh, the one problem i'm having with this is that uh, one of the little uh, side stairways of these pieces, uh, they're not the tightest of fits. So I've had a couple of those fall out as I've been building it. But as long as you keep an eye on it, they go back on without any trouble at all. Uh, might need a little bit of glue on those. Although once the kit's displayed, it's not going to be moved around at all, is it? So, uh, so there we have that. I'm going to do the same again on the other side, I think, next. Yes, same again on the other side. And then there's just a few more bits to add on to it and we're almost on the home straight. That's the other side completed, except for not being quite pushed down properly. Let's just get those home. All good, uh, that was P, uh, so onwards to Q, back to the other side again. Uh, we're getting some more pieces done. Now it does say that you should then put those on, but I've obviously already done that, but there we go. So we've got this, which is some sort of railing. I actually, how should I do this now? Let's do the bit at the bottom first which is part number six, which has got lots of little folds into it to give it more of a curved shape. And that is going to go to fill in that gap there. So it's gonna be tricky getting both sides of it done. Uh, so I'm gonna start with the bottom because it's got the most parts to, most tabs to put in. And then just try and wriggle it and manipulate it to get the others lined up on the top. A little bit like that. So there we go. It's not a perfect join, but it was never going to be waterproof anyway, was it? So, uh, right, I'll bring the stand back into action so I can stand it up for the first time properly on its stand. There we go. Uh, and then on the front, we have uh, what have we got? A little bell, I assume, maybe. Uh, that goes into the front there. Oh, it's not a bell, it's going to be the, the tying off mooring post thing, isn't it? And then we've got the main front rail, which just goes around there like that. Uh, so there's one bit there that's not been filled. Uh, these have now, as of the ones that are tucked away underneath. So yeah, we've got more gaps to fill, but we're getting there. So that's that. Uh, I'll get the next part out for the other side, I should think. Yes, uh, the same again for the front on the other side. So that's that. Let's put it back on the stand again. Uh, then we have two masts, which go into there and below. Uh, they go in quite a long way. So this one's got to go in. Let's uh, lay it down and see what's happening. Move that out of the way. Uh, yeah, that's going in there at an angle all the way through. I'm assuming that there's either a gap or a hole that I'm aiming for as it goes through 
but I can't find it. I don't remember. Look, there you go, another railings come off. Uh, I don't remember if there is. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm at the wrong place. I'm not there. I'm down here. So yes, it will go all the way through there. Uh, is there a hole in the deck below? There is just one there. So we're going through there and through there to the lower level, just like that. And this one's doing the same at the front there. Uh, again, there's another hole just there that that's going through. All the way down to the lower level. Uh, right, that was R. Uh, it looks like we're doing the same again with a couple more on the other side uh, and one in the middle and some flags. So I'll get those parts ready. And so I've put two more in exactly the same on this side. We have another flag which is going to go there. Uh, the one different one, the one single post goes on the middle on that side. Uh, there is a hole the other side, so I don't know, there might be another one to go on there at some point, but we'll worry about that then. Uh, we have two more posts to go in. These are the ones that fill that gap there. And also keys into the balcony halfway up with the little tag there. That one does the same that side. So that's that. We're getting there. Um, next up, we're building another little building for the top. And then we're putting the last few bits in. Right, we must be getting close to the end because I've run out of parts. Uh, we've got the top cabin wheelhouse type thing. Uh, we've got the weather, weather vane that needs to go onto there. Let's just make sure I get that the right way around, right way up. Let's got it that way around, so let's put it that way around. Uh, the roof piece goes around there. That's quite cool. I like that. Yeah, that, that goes around there just by popping in around the corners. It's got a curve in the middle there as well. Get that right, otherwise, it won't fit together properly. There we go, that's that, and that, that is held in place in that building there. That's actually got three tabs that come out, so you've got to get them the right way around. That's the middle one, so that's the end one. Right there there and there uh, right so that goes on to the top uh, pointing towards the back just up here uh, actually only go on one way around so it's that way around that it goes there we have that we have two more barrels sitting next to it you almost certainly can't see from that angle. Let's turn them around. There you go. That's uh, that. Next up, we have. Oops, just that up so it goes. It doesn't go anywhere. Uh, the other post, as I said, goes in the other side. Just the same way as that first one did on the other, the first side. Not sure why we didn't do it when we did the others, but there we go. That's that. Uh, then three more pieces to build another little stairway because otherwise you can't get up to the top so there's a bend there and a bend there a railing uh, which side is that that's got a curve to that so that goes there no it doesn't let me look at the instructions more closely I've got that that way round that one is that way oh, it goes around there right there you go so that side that side and coming down the stairs and that one is the other side there obviously it doesn't go all the way around because it needs to attach to here those two onto that lower level if I can line them up right and those that one to the top of level top top of level it's a lower level is it an upper upper level that's it not top upper that goes in there just like that getting getting close to all of the holes being filled which is always pleasant uh, right 
let's get the next parts ready for the stickers. Right, stickers and tubes, but first I found two bits that I hadn't put on. Um, I've clawed back through the instructions and found out where they go. They go under see, underneath, they're the rudder pieces from under here. So they go on there, just like that. Luckily, not anything needed to be taken apart to put them in place. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know why I missed them off the instructions, I just did. So let's have a look, these stickers. We have instructions on the stickers in section U, uh, all the same. So we just need, first of all, to get T1 peeled off the backing paper and one tube has T1 stuck to it. So I'm actually gonna lay that down there and roll it over. I think that's probably the best way of getting it on there. So hopefully I can get it straight look straight to me and then I can roll that along pressing it down as I go and yep yeah, that joins up almost exactly that'll do so there we have that uh, then we have T2 goes around it uh, around that bit I don't know why it needs another one around there but it says to put one on, so I shall put it on over the top of the, the wood grain that's already there. It might be just to add a layer of thickness or some such to it, because it does create a little bit, a little, little ridge. Uh, and then T3 goes across the top. Obviously, again, it's the same colour, so it's just to create a little more variation, probably. So that goes along there like that. And then we have that. Uh, so I'll magically do three more of those and I'll insert them into these holes, which go into the little uh, bases underneath and that fits through just like that. Uh, so that is the last part of the build. So I'll get those assembled and then get a better view of the, the thing finished and we'll see what it looks like. And there you have it, the Mississippi Steamboat from Cubic Fun. Uh, it's good. It wasn't a difficult build by any stretch. It's not a, a hyper-realistic model, uh, as you'd expect again, but it is quite nice. It was a fun build. It didn't take any serious brain power. Uh, it, the, the wheel moves on the back, so yeah. Uh, other than that, it was just a good fun build. Um, if you're interested in buying one, then I should have some discount codes available. Uh, they'll be in the comments below. I'll make sure I pin them to the top. Uh, when they're gone, they're gone. So if they do disappear, then apologies. But uh, so it's a nice, interesting build to do. So hopefully someone will follow along and build and enjoy what they're doing as well. There's little, little details like the little barrels and things, rails and handrails. Yeah, I quite liked it. It was good fun. Hopefully I'll be doing another one at some point. So, uh, as ever, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed what you've seen and built along, let me know in the comments. And uh, I shall see you soon for more of the same or something different. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Now, don't forget to check the link in the description below so you can see if you can pick one of these up for yourself or something different. There's a few different kits that they provided me with some discount codes for. So have a look, see what you like, and I say, let me know if you're building any. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.